What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? So we're going to be reacting to some NBA highlights here. It is the Knicks versus the Hawks uh, from last night, the game one of the first round where the Hawks ended up winning by two points. I was actually at this game, so I saw it from a whole different perspective as most of you guys, unless you guys saw the game yourselves in person. But I kind of want to react to this, give you my thoughts on what I was going on, because that was probably one of the most, like, the most fun I've had at a sports game in forever. Like, it was a packed house there at MSG. There was 15,000 fans. It was so loud, like, 99% of the time when at least the Hawks weren't shutting the Knicks fans up with, like, um, with, them scoring and then really just like having that many fans we were standing the whole time it was nice because we were in the vaccinated section so we didn't really have to wear our mask so it was pretty dope and uh, yeah i'm gonna give you my thought process here on the game it sucks they lost but uh, we'll go through it here who has had his own mvp caliber season for the knicks Tony Brothers in this game. See, I don't even know, like, who the announcers were. I don't even know. Actually, I do remember people, like, chanting Tony Brothers or something. Uh, not nice things. Officials, Tony Brothers, our crew chief. The Knicks started off Rich. really slow, too. But overall, so far, they're 2 of 13. Up top, it's Young. Beautiful dime. Just a miraculous turnaround under Nate McMillan. Herter, catch and shoot three. That's good. A drive and kick there for the triple. All the injuries that the Hawks had this season, one of the mainstays was Herter. I was like kind of like on the left side there, but up a little bit more. We were in the 400s. We actually had a great view. I was like, oh, we're going to be in the 400s. It's not going to be that great of a view, but it was phenomenal. Look at Randall up and under. A terrific compliment to Trey Young for this Hawks team. Bogdanovich, their biggest free agent signing. Look at Rose, Rose was going. phenomenal. We got some MVP Rose this game. Like some of the acrobatic layups he hit. Right through that stuff. Atlanta defense. And when you're struggling to make shots get to the rim, that's what the Knicks are starting to do here. But the Hawks are starting to heat up from beyond. Just to see it. How about to hear it, right? Like we're, we're <laughs> so bad. I guess I'm technically blocking the score here, so let me, let me fix this. Used to having sound pumped in. And, and Alec Burks now, in this game, absolute MVP. Randall played horribly. Barrett didn't play great. Uh, but this was Alec Burks' game. And Bullock did not play good either. <laughs> And you, you see the difference, the adjustment that the Knicks are making. The rebound corralled by Rose as Atlanta's offense now has hit a wall. Here comes like, D. Rose to the cup, puts it down. As and literally, it was like a game winner happened every time the Knicks scored. It got that last. Struggling a little bit to contain the penetration of this Knicks team. Here's Gallinari. Puts it on the deck, taking Gibson a couple of fakes. As a Noel Nathan got hurt too, which kind of sucked, but that was later in the game. About getting his guys, Greg, prepped for this yeah. one. But again, nothing quite like experiencing this. The, the shock to the senses as Alec Burks. When you start talking postseason and wanting to play deep into the playoffs to have that depth. What a pass, Burks. Boy, putting his imprint on this game. The wraparound. Sides deep into their second unit. And good execution from both. Like that play. Rose it got so loud coming. after that play. Here's Tony Snell. He'll get Atlanta reset. There was like three moments where the garden got so loud. It was the RJ dunk, a quickly three, and the OB dunk. And an OB three too. For some points. Herter puts it on the deck, and he's fouled. Tom Thibodeau. Here is quickly. Got off to that hot start. Denied by Capella. Loose ball to Burks, and how about his start? By Nate McMillan, and we know what Tom Thibodeau has done, this complete right of revitalization yeah, of the here. Knicks in New York. So Quickly has to fire with four to shoot, and he I puts it I think he was down. that three. They're within four. I know, it might have been his second three. Four. Yet. I forgot. And this is where if you're Trey Young, it's time for you to kind of get Derek going. Rose could knock guard Trey. I don't know why they didn't play Frank more. I really thought Tim should have played Frank more because quickly really couldn't guard Trey. Payton couldn't, and Derek Rose couldn't guard Trey really either. In the pick and roll, he's been he's able to get wherever he wants, dunk? Yeah. which I think they're going to need. Topping. It got so loud after that. Coming with some right-handed thunder. Good defense by the Hawks. Bogdanovich off the steal, pull up three, got it. Then Tom Thibodeau, Burks to drive, kicks out, quickly puts it on the floor, into the paint, and hits. And he's taking it right to Trey Young. Out to Bogdanovich, seven to shoot. Here's Collins, wants to take Burks, contact and puts it down, making it look easy. The defense realized the help was not coming and show great patience yeah, there Yeah, over there, got so loud after this. Open look at a three from Toppin. 
Here's Collins, corner three, too much. And the weak side rebound is controlled by the Knicks. Yeah, this three, it got Here's so Quigley. loud. Splash! <laughs> My goodness! <laughs> it's like, it's we loving it. I, know, it's funny it's what it's playoff like basketball is all about. You've got to be able to make the adjustments, and what a beautiful adjustment on that finish by D. Rose. D. Rose at times so far here in game one. There's Jamal Crawford, someone who knows what this place feels like, former Nick. Trey Young! Despite Randall's struggles, the Knicks... Wait, did you say Jamal Crawford? Wait, am I tripping? So far here in game one. There's Jamal Crawford. Oh, oh, he put a tweet up. I was like, wait, <laughs> did he mean to say Gallinari? Because he's a former Nick. Someone who okay, knows the Knicks are only down two. Young barely nicks the front end of the rim. Here comes Barrett to the cup, lays it up and in. We are tied. And then the rebound underneath love by showing Collins. Kevin Knox on the bench. Here comes Young. Like, All the way to Bullock the played horribly in this game, too. Both sides of the floor. Up. Trey Young putting him on his back. In and loaded in and taking away angles. I think that's smart in terms of their game plan. Trey Young first postseason appearance. You see his numbers. That is Bullock. Trey Young has scored the last six for Atlanta. Not, like once Trey Young had any bit of space, like in the within ten feet of the rim, and nobody in front of him, like he's gonna hit his floaters ninety nine percent of the time. Glass. Here is Bogdanovich. On the deck, underneath, kicks out to great Collins. Defense, Here he comes <laughs> that to was the such rack. a great block by Noel. by Noel. And then Randall Reset turned it over. Yes, I remember Early January, now. after they let him go in the offseason, that uh, salary cut move. Here is Barrett, corner three, got it. For the threes, after he missed those first two, got Oh, this is the RJ dog. It cut so loud. And then had the presence to finish. And it tied the game. They called the timeout. The fact that they called the timeout was amazing because then everybody could just like start going crazy for the next two minutes and the Hawks didn't have to shut everybody up. I'm pretty sure the Hawks scored after their timeout, but oh my god, the next two minutes were so loud. I kind of just want to watch it again. Missed those first two like this was the highway to my night right here. Seeing RJ post and bogey. The presence to finish up over the top on bogey. <laughs> RJ Barrett. <laughs> Just eviscerated the wreck. Which should give him an opportunity at the free throw line. Randall faces up on Collins. One dribble and hits. And the Knicks. And this game went by so quickly. Like, it finished at 9, 920. Yeah, it literally finished at 920. Like, we got the trade at, like, 929. Um, but, yeah, this game went by so quick. It was, like, about two hours. A little over two hours. That's been his spot. Gibson, offensive rebound. It's Randall. Randall played so bad this game. No, the Knicks everywhere. Barrett, and he tips it up and in. Knicks will reset. We come up on the final 60 seconds. Burks was Burks the MVP by this game. Dropping a dime. Gibson putting it down. And he's headed to the free throw line. Todd Gibson loving it. The See if Atlanta goes two for one here quickly. It is Williams from the elbow, and he hits. Pass seven. broken up, stolen by Snell. And then we will have three. Of time. Williams steps into a three, buries it, and Atlanta punches back. A major shot in the arm in the first half. Now to Rose. Into the paint, contact, going glass, and Rose has been deadly. With the confidence of a first option guy. And he Gallo didn't play great this game, Knicks. but he hits the three. Danilo yeah. Gallinari, that's a three. Of the franchise in 2008, massive triple for the Hawks. Three to shoot, here comes quickly, tough loader. That's wow. a very Penny tough one. It did not look that tough when I was watching Atlanta it. with possession, down three here in game one. Williams, Great defense. All the oh way to the wreck. That's so bad. This is probably pissed off. The that. rim by the Knicks creating that opportunity for Noel. And they're oh starting God. to have some, some success defense. here in the second Rose half. Rose did not play good defensively this game. My at goodness. All. As we come up on the seven minute mark left in regulation, Burks, Burks is really automatic with his mid range numbers. He was Shot clock yesterday. resets to 14. It's into single digits. Burks resetting. Like come, like, come on. Like, come on. Incredible shot. Really good in terms of executing their offense. Two point game. Randall. Now to Burks. Pull up. He three. Was oh, my God. 
the biggest pieces I I of this big team high 20s. I don't know if under Tom been. Thibodeau. And then they give him the so. responsibility of guarding the other team's best player. Capella on a tough catch in traffic. And the only important element of that is does it affect how he plays rest of the game? How about that pass? Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's a three-point jack. That shouldn't dissuade you from making plays with the basketball. Here comes Young behind the back. This is Hunter. That three That's hurt. a three. Put him up by four. Because Trey Young is also making I a think statement Burks with a how three. he is playing here yeah. down the stretch. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, Ten one run wrong. for Atlanta. RJ Barrett Bowman, yeah. with the answer for the Knicks. What a defensive it's recovery like a four, a by Derrick happened. Rose. I think this is the play where Burks hits a Randall. three or Randall hits it. I get no Randall hits this. Screen, no, yeah, he does. Three, puts it down. I remember he sucks, but somebody hit a big three. I'm pretty sure Burke and still hits Knicks another clutch three. Give front. us the lead or tie it. On cue, able to answer. Young turns yeah, the corner, Young hits the, the floater, and, and then like it was a whole big thing with the RJ foul call. That one was really annoying because I, I feel like for the playoffs they should let him play, but I'm sure we'll get to that one. Get a chance at a three-point play, and he's given Atlanta a two-point lead. Yeah, the Burks three here. Rose this one was Gibson. so big. Outside Burks for three. So huge. 16 points. And we were up in by the one here. And 25 for the night. Rose, a little shimmy shake, kicks out. Oh, no, he hits the two, so it's under control. Shot, and he hits I again. thought we had it here, but I think World the Hawks hit a three. Here on to board, tie it. But it's also the right? personnel moves. They made was... the decisions, even within the Oh, yeah, that was and... like, mmm, RJ has board, the steal here. The RJ literally gets. Oh, my God, it's in his hands. That's game. That is game. Not really, but come on. And then it goes right into bogey, the season, and he gets the Gibson three. Oh, that hurts so much when that happened. It's oh. taken by Young. Thirty seconds left. Could have been the game. And then this Young foul call was such. Here he comes. Contact. Mm. I thought this was a win. The he Knicks doing a regular season, and it's gonna I think have the, a the next challenge here, here potentially. And Trey Young is just ice cold at the line. Giving his team some confidence, knowing that they've got one of those guys. That could make plays. Where did the Knicks go Rose here? It's it up. Julius. Jesus, Way what a lucky much. rebound. What Gibson, a lucky rebound. Offensive rebound. Here comes Burks. Shovel pass and underneath. Rose. Outside to Rose. Oh my Into god, that was huge. Shot. Got it. We're tied. Let's see how they play uh, this. And then Trey Young. Here Frank Young on him too. Frank could even guard him here. Young on the floater. Puts it in. I'm glad they didn't call foul. Trey Young with a miraculous shot. Wait, there was one play that I kind of want to go back to it. The decision three. Young puts it on the deck here. He's in war, but it's also the person. And he hits it. Rose, a little team person. And he's given. Hits the floor. I think it was on this play. Where Ro or Trey Young gets the end one, but he literally, like, if you watch the replay, takes the shot and then dives into, I think, Taj Gibson. And we just... Really annoying. Like he takes a shot and then Young he throws the his corner, body into Gibson. Floater. Like Gibson goes straight up and then Trey Young go launches into him, and that's where they called a foul. They don't show the replay. But like you watch it full speed, you might know what I'm talking about. Uh, everybody in the stands were like, oh, Young okay. turns the corner. Yeah, that is what it is. And then what? We just witnessed the uh, Trey Young go ahead shot, which hurt a lot. And then here, I thought it was pretty simple. Uh, maybe the Hawks would know you're going to Burks because he's the hot hand, but I thought they would assume they're going to Julius Randle. And they don't really have a great defender that's like, okay, this guy's going to clamp him up no matter what. I really thought with .9 seconds left, you have enough to get a catch and shoot, you take the three to win. You're not going to get lucky with a catch and shoot to go to overtime. I think you just go for the win. And this setup, I thought for Alec Burks with the perfect opportunity, either Burks or Bullock. Randle has not been clutched this whole year. Um, and his clutch shot was one that got a very lucky roll against the Nets or the, the Sixers. Um, uh, but I did not agree with this final call at all by Tim. I, I thought it was actually a horrible call. I don't trust Randall. I thought this should have been a play for Burks, and he's inbounding it. He's inbounding the ball, which made me upset her even quickly. Um, it goes to Randall here. There was a terrible pass by Burks. I don't even know if it would have counted. And yeah. And it's over. Hawks won. But it was a great game nonetheless. It was so much fun being there. And I'm glad it was a close one. It's, it's better than that than a blowout. But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by dropping a thumbs up. Let me know down below who do you think wins this series. Do you think that the Hawks took a game in MSG? Uh, being up 1-0, it's over. They're going to win. Or do you think the Knicks got this in 5, 6, or 7? But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Drop a like if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.